Another area that's not new but it's had a nice upgrade is the area of content aware fill, move, and the content aware option for the patch tool. All of which have a nice option now that I think people are going to really use a lot because it just fixes those times where you try and use content aware and the blending in of colors just doesn't quite match. So let's take a look at what we're talking about here. I'm going to get a little closer here so we can really see up close and let's say that we wanted to just try and quote unquote remove this person. So I'll make a selection, use shift delete or shift backspace to get up content aware. And I'll first of all show you the previous method before this new feature called color adaptation. So when I click OK, you can see it does an OK job, but there's a little bit of odd blending going on with that cloud in behind. So if I do it again, and this time with color adaptation, takes a hair longer, but now it's a little bit better. I think it'll be even more obvious when we use the content aware move tool. So let's take her, get our content aware move tool and let's put it, this is the way this new feature here, this is color set to zero, this is the way it used to work before. So we'll drag her over here and say I want to try and match her up a little bit there, but you'll see it doesn't do a very good job of matching because there's such a contrast between here it's not bad, but over here in the new part it's really not that good. All right, so this time let's try it again. I'm going to actually put it on a new layer because that just makes me happier when I do that. So move her over here. Still doesn't look that much better, but now if we go to this adaptation and put this color amount as I start putting the number higher, it kind of recalculates each time it's getting a little better. And I'm deliberately doing it this way to show you what's happening. Normally, I would just start with a higher number. See, once I get to about, in this case, seven or eight, that's a much better blend in with the way that it works. The same thing applies with the patch tool. When you have it set to content aware, these same settings are available. So again, I'll put it to zero. Decide I want to cover her up and try and pick a patch. You can see at this point, those colors really aren't going to match very well at all. But if I come here and start pumping this up a little higher, you'll see each time I can find a place. And it's not always going to be 10. It's on a scale of 1 to 10, but sometimes you may find it 3 or 4, and you can just use the arrow keys. This is one of those very rare cases where it's a live effect. You can keep trying things until you find the one that you want. So with the fill command, it's just a checkbox on or off with both the content aware move tool and the patch tools content aware option. You have a setting on a scale of 1 to 10. You can enter in as long as you haven't done any other step. It's a live effect. You can try different numbers for that color setting to see the result. And usually it's going to give you a much better result, especially in case where there's any kind of gradation of the background where it's like a, in this case a sky with different shades or something of that nature. So once again, a very nice addition to an existing feature in Photoshop.